hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel in this video we are going to discuss how you can create a professional blog website with sold at wordpress theme here you can see the theme has a professional header after that the menu then here you can see slider options after that it has a sidebar then here you can see various other sections categories after that scroll down here you can see the latest blog post section after that scroll down it also has various other functionalities and here you can see in the footer it has social media so let's see how we can create this type of website within couple of clicks to build any type of wordpress website you just need two things one is called domain so that is basically your website name and the second one is called hosting where your website files are stored in a server so here you can see these are the top famous companies so these are the hosting providers that you can compare prices so this is almost three dollar monthly and also you can check here hostgator so scroll down and let's check these are the hosting packages that you can select one of these just here you can select starter package and after that on the next page here you can see this is a section that you can fill out a form but before that you can just add your domain name so make sure that your domain name will be unique like if we add amazon so you will not be able to purchase this domain because this name is already taken and after that just you can scroll down here you can see these are some options that you can add and after that just click here and make payment after that you can just go here and sign in to portal after that in dashboard here you can see in hosting so this is the hosting package that i have purchased after that just click here on manage and after that just click here settings scroll down here you can see these are the name servers that we need to connect in our domain so that our domain and hosting will be connected so just i can copy this and i have purchased hosting from this company hostinger.pk here you can see this is the domain name latest fullhdmovies.com just click here on manage and after that here you can see in name servers just click here change name servers after that scroll down here you can see these are the current name servers just you can replace with your own name servers and after that just i can copy this second one add here after that just click here on save button in this way you can connect your domain with your hosting after that the next step is just go to cpanel and we need to install wordpress in our domain so now you can see the cpanel has loaded and after that scroll down here you can see these are various features that you can use and learn step by step after that just click here app installer so this is a basic tutorial that you can create your own website here you can see these are some platforms that you can use just click here the first one wordpress after that scroll here and click here on install now after that here you can see for ssl security you can just add https and normally it is used http after that you can select one of domains that you want to install wordpress after that you can select wordpress period and after that if you get wp here just you can remove this one the next you can add here website login detail username password your own email address after that here you can add site name description and here you can select the plugins that you want to install by default so this is important plugin if you install after that scroll down here you can select one of theme the next you can click install now button and after that wordpress will be installed so this is the way that you can install wordpress and after that let's check what we can do at this time here you can see we have a simple wordpress website with by default template 
now we need to log in into our website so that we can install a theme in our website just add here login detail after that here you can see in the dashboard so now first of all we can do some wordpress basic settings just make sure that you have selected the structure after that click here save changes so now go back to the themes just install a new wordpress theme upload the theme files select the theme file let's go to the folder after that in the resources i have a theme file here you can see now i need to extract this file because it has multiple files in it let's open this file after that here you can see these are actual files that we need to add so it will take just few seconds for the installation after that we will activate this parent theme and it also has a child theme that we need to install after this so let's wait for a few seconds and you can also use any other wordpress theme so this is up to you here you can see theme is installed just activate it after that let's install child theme the same process just click here add new after that upload theme file select sold at child after that click here install now so now here you can see it also has installed and activated now we got some notifications let's go back to the appearance install plugins here you can see these are the plugins that we need to install just you can press control after that click here install one by one and sometimes when you install these plugins within a single click using bulk actions then we get error in this way you can install one by one after that let's refresh the page and see how many plugins are installed now again we try to install remaining plugins as sometimes we get error So that's great. Element plugin is installed now. Now we can go back to the plugin installer and activate all the plugins. Let's close these extra tabs. Now go back to the appearance and install plugin section. Scroll down and now we need to activate these plugins. So let's activate. Now refresh the page. After that make sure that you have installed Elementor Pro plugin. Here you can see in the installed plugin sections we have Elementor free variant just click here add new then upload Elementor Pro file. Here you can see I have Elementor Pro. Make sure that plugin file is in zip format. So here you can see it has installed just activate it. Now here you can see again we can check if there are some plugins to install. So that's great we have installed all the plugins. Now go back to the appearance. Here you can see import demo data just click here. After that here you can see these are all the demos just you can install according to your category and niche. So for example I can search iOS and after that click here import. 
here you can see it has started importing all the data including blog posts and various other sections so it will just take time like few seconds and minutes so now we can wait for this after that once it will be completed then our website will be ready to use so let's wait Now you can see the demo has been imported. Now click here and visit website. Here you can see that's great. We have imported complete website within a single click. So now if you want to change this logo just go to customizer. Here you can see customizer is loading and on the left side it has various options just click here logo and header after that select the logo now here you can change the logo image after that here you can see these are various other options like logo width and many more now if you want to edit this menu how you can do that just go back to the menus page here you can see this is the menu just you can remove anything you can select and scroll down here you can see remove option if you want to add anything just select here and click add to menu after that here you can see these are various options just you can add pages 
and various other things in the menu after that click here save menu then now if you want to change and want to see settings just go to customizer here you can see scroll down and let's go back here you can see home page so this is home page settings for example you want to edit categories scroll down and here you can see these are the categories section after that if you want to disable this slider just go back and find out here you can see featured slider then click here general settings after that here you can see by default this is enabled just you can disable it now we can back enable it then scroll down and let's find various other settings for example you can select post layouts after that here you can see footer section then it also has a sidebar section so this is the sidebar let me show you here so from here you can edit just go back to the dashboard after that you can go to appearance then here you can see widgets so now we can install a plugin for the widgets scroll down here you can find out classic widgets then activate it now refresh the page here you can see the settings so this is the sidebar here you can see stay connect option sold at social media and you can add various other things for example just you can drag here and leave here then here you can see you can select after that click here done in this way you can add various options in the sidebar so in this way you can easily customize your sold ad wordpress theme thank you for watching for more videos and updates please subscribe our youtube channel